I am convinced that the dietary laws are given to us by God because there are spiritual consequences to eating the wrong things that we can't recognize in our state of no longer being in the garden. What God is telling us by his dietary laws is this stuff is spiritually safe for you to eat. That stuff is not spiritually safe for you to eat. And of course, if you go back to the garden, we got into this mess because of eating the wrong thing. So when Adam and Eve ate of the fruit they weren't supposed to eat of, this whole sorry chain was kicked off. So what you eat is an important concept. And it's important spiritually. And as I say, my my take on the dietary laws is God is telling us the things that I label clean are safe for you to eat. The things that I label unclean are not safe for you to eat. You don't understand why, but I'm telling you spiritually, this is safe, that's not safe. I don't think anybody's going to hell for a ham sandwich. I just don't. I think it's a matter of spiritual safety. And these things are safe and those things are not. One of the commentaries I read, I think by Weiss, Rabbi Weiss on Ice was was very good. And his comment was that there are things in the world that are permeable to the light of God. In other words, the light of God shines into them and there are things that are opaque. The human soul is designed to be permeable. It's designed for the light of God to hit you and scatter like a prism and shine on the rest of the world. There are things, however, that are opaque to the light of God. And Weiss's comment was, if you build your body out of building blocks that are opaque to the light of God, what you wind up doing is diminishing your own transparency. And what God says is, in his word is, these things are safe building blocks for you. Those things are not safe building blocks for you. The only concrete example that we have is in the garden, where the first couple ate of the forbidden fruit and all sorts of stuff happened thereafter. Since that's the first story in the Bible, I take from that that God is really serious about what you eat. If you go looking for physical problems with things that are unclean, if somebody solves that physical problem, then you're tempted to say, ah, I know why he says not to eat that, and we've now fixed that problem, so now I can eat it. And that's what much of the Sunday church does. Well, gee, he said don't eat pork because it spoils and all that kind of stuff, but now we have refrigeration. It's now safe to eat pork and shellfish. When you start trying to understand why God said something like this, the temptation is always to say, well, gee, now I understand it. That's why I take it to the spiritual level. And it's not safe for us to eat spiritually. And I have no idea what the consequences of that are. Just don't know.